February 27, Thursday after Ash Wednesday A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord Take up his cross The cross was an ancient instrument of execution probably originated by the Persians and often employed by the Greeks and the Romans for its deterrent value, especially against rebellious slaves and seditious provincials. Because of the protective suffering and the extreme ignominy of this punishment, crucifixion was viewed as the supreme penalty, the most wretch of death. The accounts of Jesus' crucifixion occupy a large part of the gospel narrative. Jesus is condemned by Pilate of high political treason, flogged, led away to be crucified, and nailed to the cross with a placard of his crime fixed above his head. Mel Gibson's film, The Passion of the Christ, gives a stark picture of Jesus' suffering reminding us what taking up the cross daily may involve in our life. Paul rightly declares that the gospel of the cross was foolish and scandalous to both Jews and pagans. The scandal of the cross would only be removed if the meaning attached to it were completely overturned. This happened with Jesus' resurrection. In the light of the resurrection, the death of Jesus on the cross takes a salvific meaning. It is seen as an atonement, a sacrifice. Jesus' kenosis or self-emptying, proof of God's love for us.